Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are wrapping up the dining room, which we started working on in last week's video. The dining room has been a room I've really been wanting to work on since purchasing this home because it actually is a room in the house that I feel like gets some of the best lighting. Like during golden hour, it's just prime sunlight coming in. I love the coffee bar through this arch right here. And we did lime wash last week, which looks so great in here. The color was Bistro or Bistrot by Port and I think it turned out really good. We did a lime wash, we painted the windows, we got a set of chairs for the room, which is extremely exciting from Olive Atelier. And then we have my old table in here actually from the apartment. And there were so many comments from you guys saying that I should keep this bookcase on the side kind of as a credenza, but I'm not gonna lie, it's really not my favorite piece in here. It does go well with the table, of course, but I just feel like it's too chunky with the table. The table's already super chunky, the chairs are chunky. This is just super chunky as well. Well, I kind of feel like I want to do something a little bit more dainty on this side or something that lets the table kind of shine. I have some exciting things to share with you guys. Got a light from Facebook Marketplace that is beyond epic. You are going to scream when you see this light. I mean, I screamed when I found it and then I screamed even more when she responded because you know when you find something and you love it and then they don't respond, like, why are you selling it? We have some sconces as well to add to these little areas that the electricians put in last week. So let's get to work. <sighs> That bookcase is now gone, and I want to share with you guys this light that I got on Facebook Marketplace. You all know I love shopping on Facebook. There's something about being able to see so many options so quickly that I love. This chandelier is just, like, look at this. How insanely cool is this? It's meant to go over a table. And it's really not like extremely heavy because it's very airy at the same time, but it has like a gothic look to it. Perfect for my Spanish style home. $150 for this solid iron chandelier. And I just think it's going to make this room. So let's do it. and it's looking so, so good. Now, I ordered some sconces from, where are you from? Craig Barrel. Oh yeah, Jake Arnold has a collection with them and it is beyond beautiful. And I've seen these sconces, there's one literally hanging right there, you can't tell what it is. I'm going to open. These sconces are called the Allegra sconce. I wanted this softer linen. Look at how good this sconce is. It has a little pull chain at the bottom. Linen wrapped with this like nice cage detail. The light comes out mainly the top there. And the canopy's on the back, but I think it's so, so pretty. And then with the wall color too. Oh, doesn't that look so good? And I'll make sure to link these below if you guys are curious. There's also other ones that he has, like a pendant light and another one that's kind of like a similar style. I love this though. Don't do this at home. Don't, because... Justin, don't touch the black, please. I'm so scared for you. Should it's... I tap the end? Yeah. Oh, you cut it? Yeah. No, you can't do that, Justin. You can't do Why that. Why can I not do that? Oh, no, hell. What are you doing over there? <laughs> An earthquake drill? Duh. <laughs> An earthquake drill. <laughs> Look how great that sconce looks. And then you can just pull it and turn it off. It's such a beautiful color with the walls too. I'm so happy. And now we are putting up this one. Reveal. We haven't seen them yet other than like this, so three, two, one. <gasps> wow. Oh, are you kidding me? Look, that looks so good. So Especially with the light too. Like it's like perfectly placed. It's cool. so pretty. For the baseboards throughout the dining room, I'm actually using the same ones that I ended up using in the breakfast nook, which I got at a place in Los Angeles called Anderson Molding. These are a six inch tall colonial style baseboard, which I just like the style of. I feel like it kind of adds a little bit of that British charm into this Spanish house, which sometimes I feel like it needs that. 
After a solid eight months, we have a baseboard in the kitchen. I've been waiting to finish this painting or like whatever happened around here so that we can add the baseboards on and finally, the time has come. Was that good? Uh We are going through and adding our shoe molding to the baseboard because yesterday we finished adding the baseboards. Look at this lighting in here. I am just, this dining room is turning out so stunning. The wooden beams, the light, I mean, look. Oh my gosh. We are using this shoe molding here, going around the bottom edge just to finish off the baseboards. Whenever you do small molding pieces, you can actually use miter shears, which look something like this, and they allow you to cut it without having to use a full-on saw, which I love, and cut, just like that. And you have your miter corner. Just added the outlet covers and look how cute these ones are. I actually found them at Lowe's and they have just a little kind of detail to them and painted them the same exact colorway. So our arch is nice and completed. Like look how great that looks. We have the baseboards on at the bottom, which of course are going to be painted. So I went in with some tape and just taped off the baseboards on the top and the bottom. Now on the top, we actually used a little bit of caulking just to seal that top edge. And then I went in with the paint that I had color matched to the lime wash. I just ended up painting two coats of lime wash on a piece of paper, bringing it to my paint shop and they color matched it into a satin finish that's perfect for trim or cabinetry. I got a little cord of that, which I was able to use across all the baseboards and I did two coats on the baseboards, including the window and door trim, which I ended up painting last week. And I also went over the vent and then wrapped that Oxford stone color from the breakfast nook over into that archway. Finished up the baseboards and they look great. I have to do just a little bit of cleaning along the bottom edge, but I'm gonna let that paint dry just so it's easier. I've been wanting to bring in a piece that I got on Facebook Marketplace since starting these baseboards. And I'm not gonna lie, it was not some insane Facebook Marketplace deal. It was not the light, like that, that was a deal. This is still a good price for what it is. And I wanna share with you guys why I got these. I feel like I will have these for the rest of my life because they're a perfect universal modular bookcase that could go in corners, it could go against a wall, you can make it shorter, you can make it longer. So you can actually stack this and then you can make this kind of like a unit or a console somewhat like this, or you can pull it apart to fill a longer wall like I'm going to do. You can flip these sideways. You can turn this and put it in a corner if you wanted to. And it's solid oak, so I figured I would have this forever. It's such a great universal piece, and it can move around my house if I ever feel like I wanna change this up. And as you can see, it created this longer unit that just fills this wall quite nicely. And it's such a beautiful piece. Like I'm going to give it some feed and wax on the top just to kind of refresh the wood a bit. Brought up a mirror and a lamp to test. And this mirror is actually a, how much did we get this for? I think he sold it to us for like $50, I think. And it's so cool. Um, I got the matching dresser and this mirror came with it, but I didn't use it with the dresser. So I've been saving it. We're gonna lift it up and then you guys need to let us know if it looks good or not. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna look really good. It's cool. I think it's really gonna it's be good. Weird. And it's supposed to go the other way with that at the top. Yeah, this is supposed but to be at the top. It's cool to be up asymmetrical. Yeah, the asymmetrical is really nice. And we're gonna go look for a rug, so we'll see. We're gonna do a little feed in waxing here so I can share with you how incredible this product works. This is a product right here, feed in wax, and it's beeswax and orange oil. I'll link it for you guys. Bring this back to life. 
Yesterday we went and looked for a rug and I came back with more than a rug. You guys are gonna freak. Look what I discovered. A framed, gorgeous French tapestry. Now, I saw this in a rug shop. Like we went down the street from my house. There's a couple of these little rug shops down there. So I was like, I'll see if they have any rugs. Walked into the first one and saw this on the wall. And instantly I was like, is that for sale? Um, thinking like maybe it was just their own personal piece. And then I was like, yeah. When he told me the price of this, I was absolutely shocked. I kind of pretended like for a second though that I was like, oh, that's kind of like a little lot. Thinking maybe he'd lower it, but he didn't. He knew it was a good price too. So I paid what he wanted and she is here to stay. It's massive. I mean, look how big this is. It is an authentic, like, hand-woven tapestry. And let me see if I can hold it up for you guys. <gasps> it depicts some people at the bottom, if you can see that. It's kind of hard to really show it in all of its glory because it is so, so massive. You guys, you know, you know the vibes. Like, we know what we need in here. And this was what was needed. Side is way more contrasty than the front, so. This is a rug here. I do have to smooth it out a little bit more, but I just felt like this had such a cool look to it and almost this like folk art feel to the edge. It has this kind of checker across the edge here. This is a vintage rug and it is so, so pretty. Now, as you can see, the backside looks like this, but wait, does this side look better? Like which side do we do? I was a little scared when I got these chairs and saw them with the table and the floor that there was just gonna be too much dark wood, but this rug really created so much separation between the table and the floor. And I'm also gonna be hanging up that mirror that I got. We got just a couple of D-ring brackets and screwed those in and then used a piece of tape just to measure the distance between those brackets, place the tape on the wall. And then I also did a little piece for the top corner, just making sure that's level, of course. And then I added in our plaster hook braces and then I'm adding a screw just for additional support there and then we're adding the mirror on which just looks so good okay we have a delivery from my mom actually my mom and aunt love going thrifting for me like they live in a small town and ever since watching my thrifting videos they always try to find me things that they think i'm going to like and when my mom and aunt sent me a photo of this painting they found i was like I have got to put this in the dining room. I don't know if it's actually gonna go in here because I did end up finding that large tapestry piece, but I wanna open it regardless and share it with you guys. Uh, they got this for $8. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's really, really big. Far larger than I thought. Oh my gosh. Look at that still life. Are you kidding me right now? The tablecloth, the brass, the glass, the darkness, the highlights, the illusion of water, everything about this I think is so freaking cool as a still life. It has like this modern feel to it, but I don't think there's a date. Oh, 1975, Honolulu, Hawaii. It's called Brass and Glass by Ronald Brower, 1975. So I don't know if that's gonna go in here or what.
So I ended up ordering curtains for the dining room from two pages, but just because of the holidays right now, they're not being delivered until the 22nd, which normally I get my curtains so, so quickly from them. So absolutely not throwing like any shade or anything because I love my two pages curtains. But for the sake of the dining room reveal, I am going to hang some curtains that I have from them that were in the downstairs lobby room. I just took a set off just so I could hang them. And then when the new ones come in, I'll share those with you guys as well. Today is the last and final day of the dining room because I'm actually getting ready to style this space. I feel like I've been collecting so many just vintage and antique and just random bits from the flea market, antique shops, all the different like shopping trips I've gone with you on and travels that I've shared here on the channel. Everything is looking just so beautiful. Like look at this view, you guys. And of course, like these can go on or off. We have the mirror hung up over the bookcase. I'm thinking of doing some plates on the wall as well. Starting with the side closest to the windows, I already placed a lamp. And this lamp is made out of popsicle sticks, believe it or not. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I've seen these at a couple of shops in Los Angeles for sale, but they're always like over a thousand dollars. And I found this one for a fraction of the price on Marketplace, of course. Look at the illumination. And the reason it's already up is because I tried to tape the cord down and then figured it out and I didn't want to have to untape it. I actually have these really cool, just like kind of serveware pieces that I got at Nikki Kehoe probably like eight months ago or so. Also a couple of books, which I might as well just place. I think I finally found the perfect spot for this piece, which I've been looking for a home for, for since I bought this house. Like I've had this for quite a while. I got it at a flea market. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Just giving iron, it's giving scroll and tulip. That this can go just down here, kind of sculptural. On Instagram, I shared on my stories that I went to this antique store and found these really pretty silver, kind of pewtery looking candle holders. I've been incorporating a lot of mixed metals, so silver, copper, brass, and look at these painted taper candles, also from Nikki Kehoe. These are from Painted by Esme. I actually think I'm gonna stack these because I like the layer feel. Pop it in the side there. And I'm sure you've seen these floating around in videos in the past, these little hand blown. They're almost like miniature tasting glasses, but I, I like to use my shot glasses. So when we have like friends come over, we can like use these little fun glasses. Eight of them, so place those. Just kind of adds to the clustering we have going on. I really am liking how this is looking so far. You could see me, look how good that reflection in the mirror looks. Here is kind of a view with the light pointing down. Look at that. I wanna hang some plates on the wall here, but I have always struggled with hanging plates. I've tried to do it a few times in the past in a couple of makeovers. I just think it's a fun way to utilize a plate as a piece of art or a ceramic item. And so I have two plates. This one here is one that Justin got me a while back. It's really, really cool. It has a fish on it. And then this one, Another Nikki Kehoe find. I just loved this. It's from the ceramic artist Sky Chamberlain, and it kind of has this little guy in there inside of like what I'm calling a coffee cup with some flowers. Like that's me in the coffee. I wanted to share these with you because now over on my website, Lone Fox, we have these items called display buddies and they actually allow you to display your plates or whatever it is like up to 36 inches, four inches deep, 20 pounds. Like, it's so easy and they're so nice and easy to use. It essentially has these hooks and you tighten it once it's kind of wrapped on your item and then you can hang it just right on one of those hooks. This room 
is really coming together. I just want to add a couple pieces to the dining table. Like normally I'd probably just have like a vase on there or something, but I kind of just want to style it lived in for fun because why not? So I recently shared this on TikTok and Instagram, but this is an ashtray, a vintage ashtray. And basically, let me set it down and show you. Each of the little petals come out and they're individual like ashtrays if you were having people over now they actually go in the opposite way to create like a flower in the shape this would be the proper way to put them back in however i like to flip the petals and kind of create a more lotus shape I got this olive pot quite a bit back and it was always intended for the main living room. I bought it before I even purchased this house. I finally found a space for it over in this corner. I think I might wanna add like a tree to it one day when I find the right one, but for now I'm kind of just liking pot there. And then I also added this really cute wiry kind of metal sconce that has these great kind of copper wire details. It's curvy, kind of emulates the chandelier a bit. And then these tall white taper cans just to kind of make it feel a little formal. I can officially say I believe the dining room is complete and I believe this is my favorite room I've ever made over. I feel like I say that every video. I don't know if I said it last video though. Which makeover was that? Oh, laundry room. I mean, that wasn't my favorite favorite one. It's a really good one, but this one, the dining room, I want to reveal it to you guys in three, two, one. room turned out and I hope that you guys loved it as well. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to subscribe if you are not already and also check out the website lonefox.com. We're having a big sale right now, 15% off site-wide plus I think by the time this video goes up, 40% off holiday, which is crazy. Like we're only having 40% off for a couple days because anything that doesn't sell, guess what? I'm gonna sell it next year. Yes, so definitely stock up if you'd like to. And I just love the dining room. I hope that you guys do as well. I've gotta get to editing this video actually. So I'll catch you all in the next one and happy holidays. Bye.